Over the course of the month, our 8th period English Language and Composition class has studied the topic of teen mental health. By reading research articles on stress, depression, and anxiety, as well as analyzing a documentary about the brain's ability to adapt to stress, we have strengthened our knowledge on teen mental health. We have now grasped a better understanding as to why raising awareness for teen mental health is so important. Because we believe it is a very important problem that we need to be addressed, we worked hard together in order to raise awareness about teen mental health and raise funds to donate to the Ocean Harbor House. In this short documentary, our class will show you how we decide to tackle the issues and have fun doing it too. The Brain That Changes Itself is a documentary based on the book by psychiatrist and researcher Dr. Norman Deutsch. This film follows several established doctors as they help their patients overcome mental and physical challenges. These obstacles are prevailed over due to the neuroplasticity of the brain, which is the brain's ability to continue to alter the past, what is commonly accepted as the age where the brain is thought to be in an unalterable state. It is throughout the various situations in the documentary that neuroplasticity is presented and understood as an actual concept. The Brain That Changes Itself was created to share and introduce the theory of neuroplasticity to the public because most people do not know much about the brain. Similarly, like neuroplasticity, most people are not aware of the certain signs of mental illnesses and how to better one's mental health, especially teens who succumb to stress and a huge amount of pressure from school and their home lives. With this added stress, teens may be more likely to fall into depression and or have great anxiety. The National Institute of Mental Health has found that an estimated 3.2 million adolescents aged 12 to 17 in the United States had at least one major depressive episode. Along with depression, an estimated 31.9% of adolescents aged 13 to 19 have had an anxiety disorder. This growing problem that is relevant to our age group is why we chose to target teen mental health for our project. Exercise in the outdoors is proven to lessen the stress teens have during school. So we chose to do a kickball game to be able to stimulate the brains of the teens and to have a carefree atmosphere and environment in order to relieve the students of the pressure and stress school puts upon them. That being said, one way to strengthen your mental health is exercising because doing this allows your body to release endorphins, which have anti-anxiety uh, effects known to relieve stress and improve your sleeping cycle. So not only are you helping this great organization by playing this kickball game, you're improving your mental health a little step at a time. Thank you again for participating and listening. Ocean Harbor! <laughs> There is an epidemic where more and more teens do not have time to have breakfast before school starts. Not having breakfast is a major problem because it is considered the most important meal of the day. Without the energy you receive from food, especially so early in the morning, kids are more likely to be less motivated and less enthusiastic going about their day. We decided to sell donuts in the morning to try to help students and supply them with the energy they need to go on throughout their day. In this next video, we went to our selected charity, Ocean Harbor House, to interview one of their counselors. Hi. Hi. My name is Kelly Dickinson. Okay. And I am the residential supervisor here at Harbor House, at the Transitional Living Program. All right. So what's the main goal of Ocean Harbor House? Our main goal is to help youth that need help. Okay. Um, from what type of situations do the people come to the, that come here? 
So our youth here at our Transitional Living Program are youth from 16 to 21, and they come to us, us with a variety of different um, needs. Um, some of them come with mental health issues, some of them come with housing, some of them come with um, just need a safe place to live. Okay. Um, what steps do you take in counseling the teens that stay here? So the youth here, they meet with, we have a called as a primary counselor, they have to meet with their primary counselor at least once to twice a week. So um, they touch base with their youth, the people here, uh, the primary counselor, and they're also assigned a life skills counselor. Okay. So they meet at least, I would say once two time. hours a week then okay. with counselors here. With counselors. Uh, what, uh, what made you, your decision to work in a facility to help runaway teenagers? I actually um, graduated from college and I went to the school for teaching. And I, when I came out of college, I couldn't get a teaching job right away. Mm -hmm. Didn't know anything about Harbor House, and then I ended up here and I loved the organization and fell in love with the social work and helping teens. And it's been around since a while now, right? When did it start? Um, see, this is going to be bad. Mm -hmm. So I've been here for over 15, 15 years. Wow. So um, for me, the place is so it was around for a while. Um, how, yeah. how has your counseling helped the mental state of the teens who have been sheltered here? Say that again. How has your counseling helped the mental state of the teens that have been sheltered here? Okay. So, the teens here, um, some of them, well, any, any youth that comes through our doors, we feel as though they have some type of trauma. Yeah. So, our counseling services um, help them live a, well, hopefully, live a uh, normal teenage life. Um, and any type of services that they may need, if it be some type of counseling, um, if it would be any type of mentor services, we connect them with the right services mm -hmm. that they need. So hopefully the counseling services that we provide here will help them with um, maintaining a stable life. Okay. And what other things are offered, like at, at the Harbor House, what are some things that are in the facility? So in our facility, um, so our youth here stay here. They live here. Mm -hmm. um, they don't go, it's not like a school where they no. go somewhere else, yeah. so they live here. Yeah. Um, we help them with any type of daily client like living skills. So that could be how to do their laundry, how to their, how to cook, how to do chores, um, any type of employment serv services. We help them obtain a job, okay. ways to keep a job. Yeah. Um, how, if they didn't, if the job wasn't the right job for them, how to help them um, quit a job. Okay, that's about it. Uh, thank you You're for welcome. everything. Thank you. All in all, the kickball game, the donut sale, and this documentary was put together to help Ocean Harbor House continue their incredibly generous actions to ensure that children can find a home with them. We appreciate the love they have for kids and the determination they put forth in their work for the Ocean Harbor House community. We will continue to support the people that are making society a better place.